What's up guys, welcome back to another video. And, uh, yeah, this one I originally, originally didn't want to make. But, uh, yeah, I wish you don't go into this kind of political political nonsense, etc. But I'm getting tired of this discussion here. And, uh, yeah, in my, uh, since I started my, t my TWAT in, uh, 20 in November 2021, I, uh, yeah, I came across a lot of stupidity on the internet. Even one person that tried to, uh, yeah, report me to the FBI. The FBI never called back. I even asked him. So it probably never went through. Because, uh, it was a nutcase, but, uh, apparently, yeah, uh, Ice-T, whoever this person might be, the first time I fought, I heard the name, is, uh, I know he has a band called Body Count. Or something like that, I completely forgot about already. The first I thought was was the name of a, some new kind of uh, soda or something, or a new kind of uh, energy drink. Apparently, it is, apparently it, it is a guy. I know why, but yeah. He came with the most genius quote here, and yeah, I'm getting tired of this discussion about about yeah African Americans guilt tripping people about who had nothing who had uh, who were the set who might have whose answers might have done something in the past. Because yeah we we know, we all know that slavery that slavery existed. What slavery has done to the to yeah the African Americans and uh, how it it took until uh, nineteen sixty five till Martin Luther King had uh, the dream that uh, no one would, should be uh, segregated based upon the skull of the skin. We all have the discussion here, etc. We also had a discussion about sl about slavery more than enough time. And yeah, of course, things that they were t they are incredibly uh, unjustified. But yeah, and on the end, it was a different time, different mindset. People had a different kind of thought differently about it back then. But yeah, it's still. Uh, still a thing that till this day that uh, but yeah there's a thing yeah of course the things are terrible that happened it shouldn't have happened in the first place but it's not new it's not something that's uh, solely uh, done by European or American slave traders and uh, yeah to an extent to equal rights to women well eventually they set the blueprint well no no constitution when it's first written, it's perfect. There's still, still, yeah, loose ends that uh, bash themselves over time. So yeah, he said this, yeah, found by men who own slaves, yeah, but they set the blueprint because yeah, the current time didn't allow it. And the reason why the Pilgrim Fathers came to uh, the first, the first uh, reason why the Pilgrim Fathers from uh, that also first settled in my hometown in the Netherlands. They went uh, through the New World to what's now to what later become the United States. We sell that uh, Plymouth Rock. And also, yeah, wrote a thing called the Mayflower Contract. They uh, f first they wanted to yeah sell their stuff to practice their religion in peace, with their the w live yeah live their lives over there, but it also came at the cost of yeah the Native Americans first. Eventually, but yeah, that's something that uh, people on both left and right are kind of still kind of yeah conflicted about till this day. So yeah, he is he has a point that it was found by men who owned slaves, and then it's an equal rights to women. Yeah, what it what can we please can you please stop looking at the things from from a, from the lenses of the 21st century? You have a point there, but stop looking at it through the through the lens of the 21st century. Infallible, and that the dogmas are infallible. Well, no do no constitution at first is perfect. It takes time to to patch all the loose ends to make uh, to reach a certain uh, level of uh, of society and understanding that we have today. He has a point about who owns slaves, but what? So yeah, he has a point about by men who own slaves. But yeah, they want to abolish it at first, but 
something won't abolish it to me, but yeah, the, the time and uh, the mindset back then was different, so it couldn't be achieved within 10, f 5 years. It takes a longer time to, well, yeah, to abolish it, and uh, yeah, people back then weren't ready for it yet. But what, so yeah, I, he has a point over there, I'm not gonna lie, equal rights to women. Women nowadays have pretty much the same rights as men have. This right to work, and uh, they get more government support than ever. They get longer, ch longer paternity leave, child support, and uh, yeah, and all kinds of other government support. And most of them work part time. It's only a select group that works full time to pursue a career. But yeah. The reason why I'm tired of the discussion is because, yeah, at the same time, and this is the same mistake that a lot of Afrocentrists and, unfortunately, celebrity, celebrities like Ice-T, uh, yeah, make, the, the mistake they make is, in the judgment, yeah, things happen, yeah, what happened to, what happened to, yeah, or the slavery that happened that shouldn't have happened in the first place, but, yeah. Unfortunately, it's not new, and it's not uh, only. Uh, but what uh, my problem is, and that's why I disagree with Afrocentrists and uh, people who promote people like BLM, burn loot murder, or uh, yeah, things like things like critical race theory. That's, uh, in my opinion, a really dangerous pseudoscience. That uh, that this sole goal is to yeah, to girl trip. People, people, mostly of with pale skin, or people who don't f fully uh, politically agree with them, into guilt tripping them, making making the kids miserable, making them hate themselves, and only get to get a certain group of uh, yeah, African Americans, I'm not I already call the names pretty much, get all the privileges with the sole with the sole goal is to co divide and conquer, eventually the, the inevitable outcome is a race war between the two sides. So basically what I'm saying is CRT, BLM and statement like this, with this you give the give the people on the on the with this you give basically give with this kind of uh, arguments you basically give the people on the people on the far right ammo to shoot at you. Yeah. You're not creating the monster that you're pretending to destroy. And all it takes is one bad mo moment, one one bad decision to uh, yeah, to become the thing you're supposed to destroy. Another thing that I don't agree with ISD is, yeah, all documents that are infallible. Well, no document is perfect. Like I always said that. But what I don't, what he fails to do, that's what fails. What BLM fails to realize, that's what uh, CRT fails to realize. People on the far left, Antifa, etc., is that. How did the African Americans, how did the African slaves came to the American continent in the first place? Who's, yeah, they were, they were brought there by the African slave traders, but how did they got on the ships? Who sold it to them? That's where the next point comes across. The Africans, the Africans, the African Amer the, so, the Africans, the African slaves that were transported to uh, the States, to the colonies, to the plantations, etc. They are pretty much already slaves, and the reason why is because tribes like uh, that's not a new thing. Don't pretend that it's a white thing only thing. Like the people who promote CRT, BLM, tell you what it, what they fail to realize is that they were already slaves before they even s set foot on that ship, set foot in the New World. You know why? Because the Ashanti in Ghana, that's kind of a group, an ethnic group, kind of a native group in Ghana or tribe. So basically what they did was they sold their they sold their own people and even their made pri and even yeah, prisoners from other tribes that they conquered. They sold them to the Af to the European and later Af and later American slave traders in exchange for weapons and resources to expand their own empire in Africa. That's what happened. Timbuktu did it m till it a few uh, did it way uh, before them, and yeah, also 
don't pretend like this and watch only thing. Ice tea. You fucking hypocrite. Because the Arabs were also heavily involved in the slave trade, even more than the Europeans, than, than Americans, etc. Because they. And also, they, it took them longer to abolish it as well. Iraq, for example, abolished it in 1924. The United States officially ended in, 1860, in 1865, when April Lincoln decided to, yeah, basically won the Civil War against, uh, the, conf against the Southern States. So, uh, yeah. So then, and even before that, there were other tribes that had slaves. The Assyrians had slaves, the Babylonians, the Sumerians. It wouldn't be surprising if the people of Shafi and Dehuantar had slaves. That the Nazca had slaves. The Mayans had slaves from, from war prisoners between the city-states. Ironically, because that's what I'm indirectly I'm writing about. The, uh, the Mexica had slaves, the Toltecs had slaves, the Vikings had traded slaves. Until this, until this day, it's a group that nobody likes to talk about. The Irish were also uh, pretty much, uh, yeah, trade likes, but pretty much they had, his, they had the history to, that they were brought as slaves to uh, other continents. The Romans had slaves as well, and some of them treated them better than others. So, uh, yeah. This whole discussion about own slaves, I'm kind of sick of it. Yeah. The thing that uh, I see fails to do, and it's, yeah. Yeah, he, he goes about people who own slaves, etc. People who wrote the constitution that. Who wrote the constitution had those things, yeah. Yeah, but he. The, the mistakes that he makes in this. And, and, th and this is me uh, justifying. Do you think this is me justifying, uh, yeah? The people who owned the slaves, etc., as they had the right, as the right thing to do. Believe me, that is not my intention. What I'm telling you is that he fails to realize that there are two. There are, there's another part of the story that he completely forgets or fails to include, because it destroys narrative, basically. So, because yeah, this kind of discussion, I'm kind of sick of it, to be honest. I think a silent majority is it as well. If this YouTube video gets flagged or it gets uh, deleted because of, uh, of uh, yeah harmful content, etc., I don't care. But uh, yeah, I think it's a quite hypocritical statement. Besides, where you live, let's take a look. Oh yeah, here. You live, so, you live, you live there. You live in a time where you basically can, can achieve everything you want. You have advanced. You have, you have your own, you have your own, uh, yeah, TV programs like Bin My Right, etc. That make you a lot of money. You were part. You were also an actor in Law and Order Special Victims Unit. I mean, you're not a press dude. In fact, you're living a way be better life than most of your contemporaries in the. In the ghettos in New York, New Orleans, etc., do so. Yeah. So yeah. That's basically it. You're not press suit. You're living in the time. Maybe you live through a time that. It might have existed. If, uh, yeah, it might have been yeah a segregation, in around yeah till. Uh, till that part uh, where, till it was uh, abolished. Half, halfway the 90s, 1960s, for, or at least the uh, second half of the 60s, but yeah. I think it's kind of a hypocritical statement, and IC needs to, sh needs to shut up about this, because he, he tells one part of the story, but he doesn't tell the other one the how they got, he explains the, the, the what and the who, but he doesn't explain the how, how they did, they did how they got there in the first place. Until you st finally start realizing that, finally start to accept that, that you, yeah, that the how you got there in the first place. And don't try to, to uh, hide it or censor it or throw it under the rocks. Only then, 
if I say, hey, maybe it's time to let go of the past. Let's go of this victim. Let's go of this victim mentality. Let's go of this narrative that oh, all the pill skinned people are the oppressors when the majority, the sense, were now living basically living their lives without had never basically had nothing done to you. I mean, they ju they or they had nothing to do with the slave trade. They just lived their lives in the here and now. Until we until you can finally realize, let go of those things. Let go of this. Mentality. Maybe this. Maybe then we can finally c come together as a species. And start working on a better future. Because like this, the, if you if you keep uh, bringing this up, and put in a new and put the uh, segregation and polarization in a new jacket of tolerance, will never humanity will never reach towards the stars. Like uh, Brainiac said in Injustice 2. It's no wonder that humanity never reached the. Uh, or expanded beyond the edges of their solar system, and yeah, with things like this, it might take a little bit longer as well. But that's all I have to say about this video. You can leave a like, subscribe if you want to, and uh, yeah, leave thoughts down in the comment section below. So yeah, and yeah, before, and yeah, that's uh, about it. And if you'd like to see what I'm, what I'm working on, Jar Warrior issue. Uh, one is now available as a, as a vertical scrolling webcomic on my own site, jwarwarrior.com. And, uh, and, on the play and yeah, of course, on Global Comics, where you can basically pick the format between vertical scrolling, or you can go uh, to uh, or you can go to a more traditional format. There's no problem with that. And you think by yourself, hey, this guy's pretty good. And this is the last time I'm, this is the last time I'm making this kind of political content, by the way, because I'm not the best at it. But uh, my point stands. But if you think by yourself, the guy is, hey, this guy's pretty good. You can go to uh, my, uh, to Gumroad, to, uh, yeah, and you get yourself a free, free digital edition, both the first on Global Comics and uh, first on my website. And, and on, yeah, Gumroad are uh, bilingual, so you can pick between Spanish and English. You can, you can pick the digital edition for like two euros, where you get the print ready PDF and the CBR file. And that's all I have to say about this video. Yeah, it's time. To I'm going to uh, read uh, Boyman Comics uh, issue three, finally ending the trilogy and getting the review out this week, which I hope to get out this week. Cause yeah, last week was kind of uh, busy. And uh, yeah, that's all I have to say about this video. My name is Sporacker. Sporacker out. Hasta la próxima.